You guys see this? It took me two days to get that milk to come out of my breast and it has been hard. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to stick to my plan of having another baby because my boobs, my nipples, they are so sore because of all the pumping. It didn't even feel this bad when I had a baby and I was, I would latch my baby on most of the time. And the pumping for me, it was just, hell, I don't like to pump. Um, I did pump only when I got engorged and I had too much breast milk and I got engorged and the pain was just unbearable. That was the only time that I pumped. But, uh, and I just put the baby on my breast. I never really had to pump. So, going from putting a baby on your breast to pumping every day, all day. Pumping is hard work. You have to really, uh Get the whole bag out. You gotta get the bag out. You gotta turn it, make sure it's charged up. Make sure you have somewhere to plug it up at. Or if you have your handheld, make sure you have your handheld. What a baby, you could just slap that mud on while you sleep and just, and then release and it won't be so painful. Cause me, for me, breastfeeding was painful in the beginning. I would say the first two weeks when my breast milk were was engorged, but Pumping is just, it's really, really hard if you've never really done it before. And then especially if you waited like me five years and want to get your breast milk back, it is very hard. So I'm going to try to um, get my, get, have me a baby. I'm going to try to have me a baby. Sorry, I thought I'd think. I'm going to try to have me another baby. So make this, and hopefully within nine months, <laughs> I have some good, flowing breast milk i've always had big breasts a lot of breast milk uh i got engorged i always uh had jugs of breast milk and i wanted to like donate it i did donate some of my breast milk to like the wick office uh even to like my family members i gave them breast milk so i want to just i guess have another baby um i do hope like if i have another baby I say I want another boy because I only have one, but I wouldn't mind having another girl either because it is exciting. And I could just be telling myself, oh, I want to um, have a baby just so I could have breast milk. I want to have breast milk so that I can have a baby. It, does that make sense? I, it it does it. It does it. I do want breast milk and I do want baby my baby too. So like... After I'm done weaning my baby, like after two years of breastfeeding, I'm going to wean it, him or her off. Uh, but I'm still, she's still going to have breast milk in her sippy cup, breast milk in her cereal, breast milk. It's going to be so normal for her to, whenever she wants milk, hey, let me go get some for mommy. Let me go. Hopefully it'll be easier because at that point I will have to start pumping to keep my flow going, to keep that breast, to send a, send a signal to my brain and say, hey, keep making milk. You you have a baby that still needs milk. I want to be able to, I want to, I'm going to do a thing like, I'm going to breastfeed for like five years and see if my milk lasts for like five years or something. But uh, I know this is like a weird subject and talking about breast milk and all, but I really want to try it. Uh, so within a couple of years, you're going to see me have a baby and breastfeed that baby, wean that baby off and still have milk five years later. You think that's possible? How long does a woman's milk last? Can she just keep pumping it out and keep coming? Will it, could, if, if, a, if she's always pumping, will it ever go away? Like, these are questions I want to, um, know the answer to. So... Follow me on my journey. I am fit to try to have a baby, you guys. I just lost all this weight too. And I told myself, if I get pregnant this time, I'll be like one of those little bitty skinny girls with just a stomach. I'm hoping that'd be me because I'm 5'9". I'm at 167 right now. So, man, if I hit like 10, 15 pounds, I'm going to be back up there. I don't, I'm trying to stay down. So, Hopefully, right now, I'm I'm just working on losing a little bit more weight. Maybe get, like, to 140. If I can get to 140, I'm going to be back to 130. That's, like, my high school weight. 130, 129. That was, like, high school weight for me. So, if I can get back there, and then when I do get pregnant, don't overeat. 
I need to, I'm working on controlling my eating habits now, but yeah, I got a plan. So <laughs> I hope everything go as planned. I hope I'm able to help another baby, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment below if you have any tips on breastfeeding, how to keep your breast milk after you stop breastfeeding the baby. Uh, and help me out and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.